flashcard interactions are a simple click and reveal activity that really lets ver learners explore virtually any type of content, such as words, numbers. Uh, you can use them on both sides or uh, you know, show a visual on one side that flips over and gives a definition. Uh, we'll look at a couple examples here. They're really easy to make in Storyline, and you have a couple options for really how you build them out. So in this example, I don't have any content on these, but the idea is that as you click each card, you're seeing the other side of it. So we don't really have the flip animation. That could be done with a little bit of extra work, but essentially we're uh, just toggling between two states here in a graphic. And of course, if you wanted to add you know, visuals and then have some content on the back of them, you can do that, which is obviously uh, you know, kind of how these are used. Now you also have some options for you know, whether only one card is showing at a time. You could shuffle these or you could have them all flip over together. And I'll show you how each of those would work in Storyline. So we'll jump down here to a new slide and we'll just keep it fairly simple here for our example. And I'll draw out a card and we'll make this just a little bit lighter and we'll add some text here. So flash card one. And now since I can't really see that text, we'll make it a little bit darker. So we'll go into the home tab and then change that to white. And what I want to do is then just add a new state. In this case, a, a selected state at the minimum. You could do hover and visit it as well. But uh, the essence of these is that you have a, a slide with two different uh, parts of content, two different states. So we'll create a new state and we'll call this selected. I can type this in actually, S-E-L. And of course, if I wanted to use the menu, I can select that from right here in the drop down. Click add. And let's just change the color here. So I'll make this dark. And we have, now we have to make the text light. So flashcard one, flashcard one and we'll copy this a couple times. Whoops, copy the card, not the text. And I'll drag that over. And Control C, Control V. All right, so you have six cards. So one way to do them is not to have these all toggle, right, but just to have them all reveal as you go through them. So if I preview the slide, what'll happen is we click each one, it's going to remain persistently in that selected state. That's cool. That might be how you want it. You could even do a, or include a next button on the slide or on the player that's enabled that displays once all six or however many cards you have, have been selected. The other option would be to make these into a button set. So I just select all of the uh, cards on the slide, right click and then choose button set, button set one. And now when we preview, only one card will be able to display the content. So it's kind of up to you in that sense. You could also do it as a convert to free form where it shuffles all of the cards and then you've got to uh, view them and then maybe answer a question or something like that. But in, the, you know, in a really simple way, just using the cards with the selected state is all you need to uh, do to build flashcards. And of course you can have multiple slides that display these. You could put them um, in you know, different ways like in a question bank a lot of options for uh, working with flashcards. Uh, super simple interaction with a lot of possibilities for skill and drill practice.